All right, back to me personally now. As we wrap this up, here's the secret to this. First of all, does it make sense to you that you've got to provide your body with more alkalinity to stay in balance? Sure it does, because we all live stressful lifestyles, acid lifestyles. And you've got to remember that if you're going to live an acid lifestyle by the way you eat or by your stress, the way you're living, remember it takes four parts of alkalinity to balance out one part of acid. If you'll just create this balance in your life by drinking more water, by drinking a green drink or wheatgrass, giving yourself enough greens, the changes can be miraculous. I've seen it my own health and energy and the people that I care about and the people I meet every day. It's such a simple change. All it is is making a simple addition to your life, yet the improvements in your life are so radical it's almost hard to imagine. I'll give you a really good example. I had a young man who was sent to me by the Make-A-Wish Foundation. His name is Sean. And Sean came to me because, as often the Make-A-Wish Foundation will say, this is a person's last wish. He'd like to meet you. So what I usually do is I say, have them come to one of my three-day seminars if they're physically capable. We'll do whatever it takes to make them comfortable because in those three days and that revolution for their life and that Unleash the Power Within program, they're going to experience things that will shift their beliefs, their emotions, their entire life. And then I'll spend time with them afterwards for an hour or two just hanging with them as opposed to just having lunch. So in this case, they brought me this young boy, Sean. I think he was 21 or 22 years old at the time. Unfortunately, he had stunted growth, and he didn't stand much taller than my knee. He was in a wheelchair. His bones were so brittle that when he came to do the seminar, and it was time to do the part of that seminar called Fear and the Power, the first part of the seminar is teaching people how to overcome any fear and take action in spite of it. It's the thing that stops us all. So it's a pretty powerful seminar. And that very first night, I have people walk across a bed of burning hot coals between 1,200 and 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. No one has to, but everybody ends up doing it. Because once you see how to break through your fears and you know what to do, you just take action and everything shifts. After doing that, anything else you thought was difficult seems pretty easy by contrast. So he couldn't physically walk, obviously. And so his parents handed him to me. And as his dad was about to hand him to me, he said, open your hands and just hold him in your open hands. And he said, don't squeeze it all. If you squeeze it all, you'll break his bones. If he coughs, he breaks a rib. That's why his prognosis was for death soon. His bones were that brittle, if you can imagine. So I held him in my hands, and I put myself in state, and I walked across the fire holding him. It was really a beautiful experience. He cried afterwards. It was, it was amazing. So then he attends the rest of the seminar, and he begins to develop some stronger beliefs on what's possible. So I sat down with him after the third day, and we sat down for lunch. I said, tell me what you believe about all this. He said, well, I believe there's got to be an answer, but no one's been able to give me one. I said, well, you know, I'm not a doctor, and I can't tell you what to do. But I know a couple of experts that understand acid alkaline, and I explained to them the very principles that you've learned here. And I said, i got to believe that if your bones are so brittle that they're breaking when you cough or sneeze, you've got to have an enormously acidic body. Now, some of that can be genetic, I'm sure, but I believe if you talk to some of these people, they might be able to make you at least more comfortable, and who knows? It might save your life. If you're interested in doing it, I said, I'll send you, I'll pay for the flight, and you can go check it out for yourself. And I'm not telling you you have to do this. Just decide if it makes any sense to you. And if you do, use it. If you don't, don't. So I sent him to see one of these experts. And he ended up staying there for three days with this person. He changed his entire diet. Now, again, his prognosis was terminal. I spoke to his mother, and I spoke to him, and he was feeling better and better each day. Well, that could be anecdotal, obviously. Interestingly enough, within six months, he was still not only alive, but he was stronger than ever. He was able to cough or sneeze without any fear. Within 12 months, and if you saw him today, he showed up at one of my seminars to surprise me one day. I hadn't seen him in a year. And he rolled up. He was still in his wheelchair, but he said, let me show you what I can do now. He got out of his wheelchair and did push-ups. He pulled up his stomach and showed me he had a six-pack on his stomach. He's now lecturing all across the country. He's been written up in various newspapers as this wonder kid, and he's telling everybody what you can do to transform your body is by understanding how to give your body what it needs. His prognosis is no longer death. Here's a young man who literally has his life back. Now, your situation is probably nowhere near as extreme as that. Maybe it's a lowered sense of energy. Maybe it's you just want to really get those last 5 or 10 or 15 pounds off. You've got to give yourself every advantage you can. That's what Get the Edge is about. So what do you got to do? Let's remind yourself. Just make sure you take action when we turn off this tape. You don't go, that's an interesting principle. Well, I should think about that. No. Make sure you start cleansing right away. Start drinking plenty of water. I'll give you a ratio. Half your body weight in ounces. If you're 200 pounds, that's 100 ounces in a day. You go, you got to be kidding. You're going to drown me, Robbins. No, we're going to cleanse you, and we're going to get that liquid in your body so the acid gets out. 
If you want to, another way to do this again is to get green drinks. They're so alkaline. So you can go get yourself something like wheatgrass, which doesn't taste pleasant at first, but that's because your body's acid. Once you start drinking it for a while, your body won't be as acid. It'll actually have a sweet taste to it. Or you can call us for our green drink. And if you do that, you can get a green drink. You can mix in water. You can take it on the road. You don't have to worry about finding wheatgrass. And it's just as effective, in some cases more, because there's more than one type of green. And it's been specially formulated by Dr. Alex Guerrero, the man I told you about. who has had such extraordinary results with people like Shaquille O'Neal and a lot of other peak performance athletes and teams. But he also uses the same process of alkalinity to get people healthy who have been diagnosed as terminally ill. So if you're interested in drinking that green drink, give us a call. You can reach us at 1-877-GO-4-GREEN. That's G-O-4-GREEN. Or the real number for those you can't remember, go for green, is simple. 877-464-4733. Again, if you're interested in getting the green drink or any of our Inner Balance products, all designed by Dr. Guerrero, give us a call at 877-464-4733. But you can do it on your own. You don't have to do it with us. There are many ways to get your body in balance. Do whatever makes sense to you, but do something so you can get started right away. Remember, don't ever leave the site of understanding or of setting a goal without doing something towards its attainment. It's time for you to have more energy, isn't it? Isn't it time for you to get your life at the highest level of energy possible? If it is, make sure you do something right now. We talked about it here. If you want to experience more energy than you've ever had before, call us or do something now as soon as this tape is done. Our next session is about the mastery of emotion. You know what? Whether you're happy or sad, depressed, frustrated, angry, or filled with joy, excitement, and passion is a choice. There are a couple of physical triggers that you can take hold of that once you understand them, you'll know how to use your emotions instead of have your emotions use you. That's our next session. I hope you enjoyed this session, and I'll look forward to talking with you again tomorrow. Till then, remember to live with passion.